Hello, welcome to my presentation on capital rationing presented by Sean Bourne. What is capital rationing? Capital rationing is a situation where an organization does not have enough funds to invest in potential in potential projects and the projects have to be compared with one another in order to allocate the funds most effectively. If an organization is in capital rationing situation, it will not be able to enter into all projects with positive NPV because there is not enough funds for all of the projects. Why don't you have the funds to invest in the projects? Well, it's either because of hard rationing or soft rationing. Soft capital rationing are brought about by internal factors within the organization. I am not going to give myself the opportunity to get the funds. Why? 1. Limited management skills. 2. Cost of finance is too expensive. 3. Issuing shares lead to outsider gaining control of the organization. 4. Issuing shares lead to a dilution of earnings per share. Hard capital rationing is brought about by factors external to the organization. External factors are preventing the organization from getting the funds. 1. Industry-wide recession. 2. Having poor record. 3. Having low credit rating. 4. Having no assets or not enough assets to secure the loan. Single period capital rationing. Single period capital rationing is when funds are short for only one period and that funds is freely available at all other times. Divisible and non-divisible projects. Divisible means that you can do any fraction of the project and claim the fraction of the MPV. Non-divisible means that you have to do the whole project and claim the whole MPV. You cannot do a fraction of the project. With divisible projects, we do the profitability index. The profitability index is a ratio that measures the MPV divide cost of investment to give the present value of future cash flow per dollar of investment and indicates which projects make the best use of the funds available. With non-divisible projects, we use trial and error and test the MPV available from different combinations of projects. This can be a laborious process as there are a large number of projects available. There is likely to be a small amount of unused funds with each combination of projects. 
Example, Hard Times Company is considering four projects. W, X, Y, and Z. The details are as follows. The available capital is $60,000. W requires investment of $10,000. MPV $1,240. Project X investment $20,000. MPV $991. Project Y investment $30,000. MPV $2,230. Project Z investment $40,000. MPV $3,801. Solution to, in, to calculate the profitability index PI, we are going to divide the MPV by the investment for each of the projects, and then write the pro and then write the projects based on the PI. Here, project W give PI of 0 0.124, project X 0 0.050, project Y 0 0.074, and project Z 0 0.095. Now, project W has the highest PI and is therefore ranked first. Project Z has the second highest PI and is ranked number two. Project Y has the third highest PI and is ranked number three. And Project X is ranked number four. So we allocate the funds here, project here, project W is number one, and the outlay is ten thousand dollars. MPV is one thousand two hundred and forty dollars. Number two is Z, and the outlay is forty thousand dollars. MPV is $3,801. We have a total of $50,000, leaving back a balance of $10,000, which goes to Project Y, which is right number three. So the outlay for Project Y is $10,000. And to calculate the MPV that we're going to claim, we take the $10,000 and divide by Project Y investment of $30,000 multiply by the MPV of $3,801 give us $743. problems with the profitability index. The approach can only be used if projects are divisible. The profitability index ignores the absolute size of individual projects. A project with a high index might be very small and therefore only generate a small MPV. The method is of limited use when projects have differing cash flow pattern. The selection criterion is fairly simplistic. 
taking no account of the possible strategic value of individual investments in the context of the overall objective of the organization. Example, non-divisible short or, or funds has capital of $95,000 available for investment. The directors to consider projects P, Q, and R only. They wish to invest only in the whole projects. Project R, $40,000 investment, MPV, 13.5. Project Q, investment, $50,000, MPV, 20.0. Project R, investment $30,000, MPV 15.8. We, we need to consider the various possible pairs of project P, Q, and R. P and R, investment $90,000, MPV 33.5. P and R investment seventy thousand dollars MPV twenty nine point three Q and R investment eighty thousand dollars MPV thirty five point eight the highest MPV will be achieved by undertaking projects Q and R. Review question. Filtrix Company has the following projects. Project A, B, C, D, and E. Project A, outlay, $150,000. MPV, $65,000. Project B, outlay, $120,000. MPV, $50,000. Project C, outlay $200,000, MPV $80,000. Project D, outlay $80,000, MPV $30,000. Project E, outlay $400,000, MPV $120,000. The funds available are $400,000. Project A and C are mutually exclusive and no project can be subdivided. Any unused funds will be invested in short-term deposit. Required advice filtrate company using suitable supporting calculations which combination of projects should be undertaken solution a and c are mutually exclusive which means that you can only do one of them but not both combinations a b and d outlay three hundred and fifty thousand dollars MPV $145,000 A and D outlay $230,000 MPV $95,000 B, C and D outlay $400,000 MPV $160 E $400,000 MPV $120,000. It appears that the optimum combination of projects is B, C, and D, as well as delivering the highest MPV. It is also it also has the benefit that all the funds available for investment are used and filtrate does not face a choice between investments 
showing a poor return or returning excess funds to its shareholders.